1st February to uh, 20th March 2022. All the attention was uh, between uh, Otto Addo and Chris Houston, who will be the Blasters head coach. And uh, everyone was eager to know. And there was a battle between these two guys, the FA and also the uh, sports ministry. This one is saying that, okay, I want this coach. And the other person is saying that, hey, no, I don't like that coach. I have uh, my own coach and I want to bring in. And also, uh, there was so much confusion on in the social media, on the internet concerning uh, Chris and also Otuado. But later on, hey, they were combined together. They came and uh, they put them together rather to form a technical team to uh, lead Black Stars to play against Nigeria. And uh, uh, fortunately, we qualify. And I'll be telling you how uh, Chris uh, Houston was able to get that uh, technical adversary rule right now right here the secret is here now i'll be telling you everything but before then guys this is baby news tv my name is kofi i think i think i want to subscribe to the channel hit the notification button share like and comment thank you very much for everything now let's talk about chris star houston landed the black stars job in black star technical advisor chris in houston have said that he came to ghana for a visit and ended up being hired by Ghana Football Association. According to uh, Houston, uh, he had not had talks with any IGFA member before his visit, and therefore his appointment was uh, merely coincidence. So you check, you check that thing. He came to Ghana for holidays, and uh, he, <laughs> after everything, now the guy has landed the black stars a technical advisor role and uh, speaking to a daily mail the former tottenham hospital that coach said the local media misinterpret his uh coming to ghana no the local media charlie now we did with the with the with the with the course for hala is it that the local media uh misinterpret his uh, visit because Milovan Rajva has lost the job a few days before he touched down and let me let me quote him what uh, he, he said three he said three days uh, before I arrived uh, the Ghana coach lost his job I was visiting uh, family just uh, relaxing but I must have been spotted and a lot of people uh, particularly in the local media Presume I was there for the job. It kind of grew and grew. Uh, yes, it kind of grew and grew. He told uh, the Daily Mail in UK, and uh, he continued to say that they were discussing it on the TV. And the next thing, my grandchildren were sending me stuff they have seen on social media and asking why I hadn't told them. I was relaxed about it. I knew it wasn't true. But then, over a period uh, of time, that all change charlie everything changed because of the media started talking uh, about uh chris uh, Houston. so that's what uh, chris said and uh, uh, chris Houston uh, secured the role of the technical advisor in march joining an interim technical team of uh Otuaro as a head coach and uh, george Bolton and didi draman as assistant coach is the uh, former brighton hoof Albion manager helped in uh, masterminding ghana qualification to the world Cup FIFA 2022 uh, at Qatar over Nigeria. Charlie Nigeria will not suffer for our hand, but hey, uh, that is how Chris uh, Houston landed the Black Stars job. He said he came to Ghana for a holiday to visit family members, but the next day he saw uh, him like everything went like fire, you know, everything <laughs> set up like a fire just once, boom. Then the media started talking about him and they saw him with their families and their friends and they said, hey, he's uh, in for the Black Stars job. And even his grandchildren sent him uh, videos and other stuff, people talking about him on the internet and yeah, his family, that has the grandchildren asking him that, hey, Papa, 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 you will a Ghana job and he didn't tell us. <laughs> so that is how uh, all got started. So he said he came to Ghana for just realization and uh, within a day, then the media has taken everything to another level and grew and grew and grew. And now he's uh, as, a, as a technical advisor to uh, Otu Ado. And uh, 
did it money and also a judge bought it so this is how he got the job the media gave him the job the media talked a lot out the media spoke about him so so many times and he has gotten the job so guys this very new TV this is how Christ said uh, he got the job as he told uh daily mail in you Okay, now let's hope that uh, his uh, technical advisor will, will go well for the Blasters of Ghana. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, share, like, and comment.